Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Seek Thermal Camera. So the unit itself actually comes in this waterproof carrying case. It's just a carrying case. You can't actually use the camera with it in here. And it's going to have a micro USB plug coming out of it, as well as a small little lens. This whole thing is going to fit in the palm of your hand, and that's great because it attaches to the bottom of your phone via that micro USB port. This thing is a 206 by 156 resolution image, so while that sounds low res, it's actually not that bad since it is a thermal image. It's got a 36 degree field of view, so it's fairly narrow, although it can see up to 1,000 feet away. It can detect from negative 40 Fahrenheit or Celsius all the way up to 626 degrees Fahrenheit or 330 degrees Celsius. And it will also go into the Kelvin range if you're really feeling like scientific. It doesn't matter if it's night or day since this is a thermal camera, it's going to work equally as well in both settings. The micro USB port on the unit cannot be moved, which is unfortunate since it's going to require a phone where the flat part of the micro USB cable only faces the back. That means that certain phones won't work exactly that well with this, given that the camera is either going to be facing towards you, or other phones sometimes will be facing off to the side. There are adapters available, but that'll change the compatibility of the unit, which we'll get to a little bit later. Android's going to ask for a default one plugged in, and that can be set to the Seek app. The app itself is very user-friendly and simple. It's got large record and shutter buttons, as you would expect, on any sort of camera app. And then you're also going to find mode selection buttons, thumbnail, and of course a menu button in here as well. There's a split screen button that enables you to view both the camera itself and the camera on your smartphone. So it's going to split the screen into two. Now this is going to be crucial if you have an adapter because it's going to change how this function works and whether or not it's actually going to be useful. If you're on a phone where this works perfectly, it's going to make it much easier to see what's going on since thermal imaging can actually get a little bit confusing at times since your brain is not used to seeing things like a predator would. The lens is at a different angle than the phones as well, so it's going to take a little bit getting used to. And there's also a frame rate difference, so this is a little bit of a lower frame rate which makes it kind of difficult to pinpoint things at times and that's also going to depend on what phone you're using and the horsepower that's behind it. Temperature readings in general are incredibly accurate within one degree on average. I measured this using a number of different tools and I only found one time in my two months of usage that it was sort of inaccurate although that could have been due to a number of factors where I was pointing at a person and it very well could have had some other weird things going on with it. If you have trouble seeing the colors here, there are a total of seven different color modes and even two black and white modes if you don't want to see everything in color. There's a few different modes available. The first one doesn't actually show any temperature, it just shows you the different colors. Whereas the next one will go to a single point of reading. The third option will show the highest and lowest values on the screen at the same time. And then that last mode is going to display only temperatures above or below a certain threshold. So if you're trying to figure out where a leak is around a door or something like that, you can set the threshold to around the point where your house is and of course find anything that's above or below that. It's going to be $250 in all for this package and probably about $8 for an adapter if you need it. And it would be really nice to see this one be USB-C in the future since that won't matter which way it's facing. I can definitely recommend this one if it's in your budget. $250 is not cheap, but it's certainly an invaluable tool I've used not only to measure phone temperatures, which obviously makes sense for my personal job, but for home improvement and a number of other things as well. You can check how evenly your grill heats, you can find leaks in the walls, there's all sorts of things you can do with it that you'll be able to find both in our written review and on Seek's website. There's more uses for it too, without a doubt, and it's going to be more of a limitation of your imagination rather than the product itself. This one gets two thumbs up from us for sure. So now that we've taken a look at the Seek thermal camera, why don't you go ahead and leave a little comment below and let us know what you think about this thing. For 250 bucks, it's a pretty awesome value, but it's definitely a pretty niche product at that price. For a little less money, it would certainly be an awesome addition to anybody's tools at home. This thing is super, super handy, it works really well, and in general, I was very impressed with it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to us for plenty more content, and of course, check out the site for tons and tons of stuff, as we have lots of posts daily and all kinds of reviews for you to check out. We have some more content, of course, on the YouTube channel here, and you can check us out on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you are, we are. Thanks for watching. Till next time.